Hey guys, in this one, I've got a bunch of great apps for you this year, all free or free to start. I've actually got 11 apps and they're all kind of different just to give you guys a bit of a flavor of what free apps you can use with Shopify to try and grow your sales and your business this year. Let's just get straight into it. But if you do find value in the video at any point, a thumbs up would be appreciated. But let's go for the first one. This is Exit Intent Pop-Up by Optimunk and they should actually help capture abandoning visitors. So you've probably heard of abandoned cart software that tries to save abandoned carts. Well, this tries to save abandoned visitors. So if someone's come all the way onto your site, then you definitely wanna get something from them. If it isn't a sale, you would hope to at least get their information or an email address so you can start a conversation with them. Maybe they don't actually wanna buy right now, but if you get an email or even a phone number for SMS messaging, then you can try and actually get them on board. You can also create pop-ups to entice visitors to basically put their information in. All of the data in terms of your pop-up, so what you're using, the wording that you're using, the pop-ups when they come, all of that data is shown to you in the back end. So you can see exactly what pop-ups work, what pop-ups don't, and then obviously use the ones that work to try and gain more customers. With this one though, you can also upsell other products. So you can put a load of uh, products on different pages. They will come as pop-ups. You can even do maybe pick a gift to put in your email address. So there's loads of different ways you can essentially just try and get some sort of value out of customers once they get onto your site. This is totally customizable in terms of all the pop-ups and it's uh, also totally free up to about 3000 page views per month. From there, I think it starts charging you a little bit of money, but it's got a good free option on here and you might wanna give it a go. Sales Countdown Timer Bar 2.0. So they've obviously updated this one, but this is very simple. It just shows a countdown timer at the top of your site for sales. So if you do have a sale on, then there's gonna be a countdown timer to when it finishes. Very, very simple. You can have it at the top, at the bottom, or pretty much anywhere in your site. Of course, it's fully customizable, so you can make it look like your site with all your fonts and themes and colors. It is completely free. There are some limitations in terms of the amount of impressions that you can get per month. If you're a big store, you might have to start paying, but there are loads of options within the free option of this one. Very simple, and if you've got a sale, you might wanna try it. OmniSend email marketing is the next one. This is about basically automating your marketing. So it will really try and basically make everything as automatic as possible in terms of um, emails and communications with customers. So as I said, if people abandon their cart, then it will email them. If people do certain things, it will email them. If they make an order or if they cancel an order or anything, it will try and email them. You can set all of this up to basically send automatically. More than that though, once you've got customer information, you can also set up marketing campaigns. So you can email them with special offers and you can also put uh, pop-ups on the website as well. So you can entice customers to do different things. And overall, I would say the app is quite feature rich and you can try it completely free for 14 days. Then if you decide you want the pro features, you can upgrade to the pro version, but you don't need to. So you can keep using some free features on this one. It also integrates with Yotpo Reviews, which is a really popular app. This is certainly not the only app to do this though. There are a ton of apps that do all of this marketing communications, for example, Privy. And actually, I'm just gonna put this one on the list next. Yeah, so Privy honestly is huge. It's way more popular than OmniSend in terms of users. It, I think it's pretty much one of the most used apps on Shopify, but this one is free up to 5,000 monthly page views. And then you have to start charging. There's a few different options. Whereas OmniSend, I think if you're looking really for free apps, then you get a little bit more in the free version of OmniSend. What is good about Privy though, is that you can A-B test absolutely everything that you do and also automate all of your emails, abandoned car emails, SMS campaigns, email campaigns. You can create coupon codes on the site in, and in your marketing campaigns to try and basically get people onto the site back ordering. You can also limit this by geography. If someone has visited the site maybe 10 or 20 times, you can also limit it by that. The number of orders that someone has had over their lifetime with you, you can really drill down into what type of customers you wanna target. So Privy is really, really good like that. In Privy though, you also get free shipping bars. So like I said, that sales countdown timer or a free shipping bar at the top of your site, that's in Privy. Embedded forms too. So yeah, there's a lot to this app. It's a really big app, Privy, and that's why it's so well used. 
But as I said, it's free for the first bit and then you do have to start paying depending on what type of customer you are to them. So maybe some other options are good, but Privy definitely a very well used app for good reason. Form Builder with File Upload is next. I love these names that are so self-explanatory. I don't really have to actually explain it. You just put a form builder on your site. So you can make this any way that you want. So depending on what type of business you are, if you have to take custom orders, for some reason you need a conversation with your customer before you actually sell something, this is perfect for you. The user, so that is your customer, can basically input anything you want. So you can change anything, anything that's specific to your product or whatever you're selling. You can just put those forms in there and then get the customer to fill it out perfectly. So this is great if you do personalized items or custom items. You're going to need these type of forms, so you might want to use this. What is also good is that those forms can be sent to multiple users on your end. So maybe the sales department, maybe the customs department, whatever it is, can be sent to both of those so they both know. It can also be completely customized to just make it look like it's actually your form and it just fits in with your site. So there is a paid version, only 10 bucks a month. There's a really good free version as well. You can try that out and see if it works for you. Swell Loyalty and Rewards is actually owned by Yotpo. So it's a Yotpo company. And if you've used Shopify for any amount of time, you'll know Yotpo. It's pretty much the biggest reviews app on the site, but there's so, so many things you can do with Yotpo. You can pretty much do them with Swell as well. So yeah, you can put reviews on your site. That means review systems. You can have a star system like out of five stars. People can input uh, text reviews, picture reviews, but it also allows customers to ask questions. And with Swell as well, you can actually create loyalty programs and loyalty rewards to customers that come back or even customers that actually put in a lot of reviews. Loyalty points is also something you can set up with Swell and VIP sections. If people spend X amount per month or if they're a good customer, they can actually set up VIP loyalty rewards as well. There are free options with this app. So if you're just starting out or if you're small, you can use this for free just to try. And of course, if you are a bit bigger, it's gonna start costing you. But to be honest, by that time, probably paying the money is okay if you're that big. But yeah, Yotpo and Swell together, they have slightly different offerings. You might wanna look at both of them, but definitely worth a look at. Digital downloads by Shopify. So this is a Shopify owned app and it's very, very easy and simple and completely and utterly free forever. So if you have a digital product of any shape, size or form, so maybe you have an online course or maybe you sell um, edits or whatever it is, then you can accept payment for digital downloads with this app. And you can actually accept digital and physical product um, payments together and it's really easy to use. So if you have a digital product in any way, yep, you can use Shopify to do it. Just use this app and it's really, really easy. Clavio is a marketing application. So you can send email marketing campaigns to your customers and you can also use it with Facebook and Instagram ads as well. And I guess it's a little bit like Kit in this regard. So you may want to have a look at Kit as well, but with Clavio, you can set up A-B testing on campaigns. So you know exactly what campaigns work and what don't. You can just chuck out the ones that don't and focus on the ones that do and making them better. You can also set up pre-built uh, email campaigns as well. So if someone buys, if someone abandons their cart, if someone does something, just set up all those automated emails. It's gonna go straight through to your customers. And we were talking about that form builder before, if you really need forms. Well, Clavio also has a free form builder in there. So. Maybe you don't want that app. Maybe you want to combine some different types of apps together. Clavio might be for you. It will also help you upsell so you can create campaigns of upselling other items as well. It is worth a go, I would say, just to try it out. It is completely free up to 250 emails a month. And if you start going up from there, then it does start charging you. But it's worth a go to have a look at because it does integrate a few different types of apps together. So you wouldn't have to download three different apps. You might want to give Clavio a look. Thank you email by AutoKetting is also quite simple. So there are uh, many other apps that do this kind of thing and are much bigger, but maybe start charging you. Thank you email though is kind of more simplified and you get more in the free option. So yeah, this video is about free apps. So yeah, you might wanna try this one. Very simply, you can just set up all of those automatic emails that you will need. So thank you emails, also new order emails, newsletters, abandoned car emails, canceled order emails, all of that sort of thing when you basically need to contact your customer, just automate it all with this. 
As I said, there are a ton of other apps that do this as well and add on loads of other stuff. But if you just want to keep it free and simple, then this one might be for you. There is a paid option at $7 as well that gives you way, way more features. But for the free option, I think it is quite a good, simple tool to use. Free Persistent Cart is a really great app and it's completely free. I love the way that this works. So if your customer has an account with your store and then uses a computer to add a few things to their cart, then for some reason abandons the cart, goes away, they can actually pick up exactly the same cart on their phone as long as they're logged into the store. So no matter what they're using, if it's a phone or a tablet or a computer, if they're logged into your store, then all of the changes in their cart will be synced across all their devices. And that just makes you as a business look really professional. And it's also gonna help you selling items because if they had quite a lot of stuff in their cart and then they move somewhere else and it's not there, it's gonna be quite annoying for them. So I think it's a really great app to use, free persistent cart, definitely totally free really good and yeah definitely worth a go from me free shipping bar is number 11 simple easy to use easy to understand and completely free just put a bar at the top of your site that says free shipping at say 250 dollars then when your customer adds let's say 50 dollars to their cart the money will change at the top so it will say free shipping you only need to spend 200 dollars more so that's a really good way just to notify your customers that free shipping is available if you offer it and also get them to pay a little bit extra to try and get that free shipping. So it's good for everyone. You can offer the free shipping. Your customers know exactly what the deal is before they start browsing along the site. So that's it, 11 free Shopify apps. There's certainly loads more, but this is a good place to start, I think, this year. Let me know any free apps that you've used that you think are really good. Put them in the comments and maybe help other people. That's it for this one, though. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you did like it, and I'll see you in the next one.